Hello and welcome to a new video and uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a, um, a blocks fall from the sky. So um, once you're in studio make sure you go to view and enable properties and explorer and output because you'll need those two to program and stuff. So the first thing you want to do is go to workspace and press base play and delete that you can also delete this um, spawn uh, location so firstly we're going to add the part that the uh, like you know the uh, arena is going to be so what we are going to do is uh, I can just make this like um, I don't know three three by three yeah that's good um, now we are going to add a script into a uh, service group service um, we can actually just make this part like I don't know green or something add a script and service script so service and you can um, you can name this like uh, a block block handler so actually the first um, you want to do you want to add a part and then you want to scale this like um, yeah you can do 4 comma comma 4 comma 4 I think yeah that's good you can name this uh, kill part and make sure that the you can make it like red and neon yeah that's pretty good then you want to put this in replicated storage just like that and then what you want to do is go to go into the block handler delete everything inside and then you want to type, um, so, uh, here you want to type local kill part is equal to game dot uh, so game dot replicate storage dot kill part. And then you want to do uh, game dot plays, no, we actually we don't need to do that. So we can do while true do, so we are creating a loop. Then we're going to create a new um, part, so we're going to clone the part in replicate storage. And then, then we're going to set its parent to uh, the workspace then what we're going to do is we're going to create the position of the kill pod so um, so what we're going to do a new vector 3 so we are going to have the um, so this is going to be for the x-axis and for the x-axis if you open uh, view selector we want to uh, yeah, we can press so as you can see this is the x-axis which is going uh, If you if we open the um, Move we are going to see that the red one is um, X and the Z is blue and the Y is uh, Yeah the green one. So what we are going to be looking at is the C and the um, X so firstly if we go and uh, put this into a workspace again and then we go ahead and um, do this so we can just yeah kind of like that so you want to line this up in one corner and then you want to take this uh, position and then just copy it so, uh, by holding Control C or just uh, doing this and copy, and then you want to paste this in right here, and then you want to do a comma, and then uh, so Y doesn't matter, so we can put this at um, or it does matter. It's it's where you want it from in the Y axis to spawn. So I'm just going to take it like here. Well, actually, I'm I'm stupid. So, um, what you want to do? is copy this one for the y-axis um, so what, what what we want to do is do this and and here we just want to do that because um, yeah <laughs> yeah so this is going to be the min minimum number and then we need to put this uh, so if we move this uh, and then you can press F to go to the block and then line it up again uh, just like that 
and then we are going to take this f these first numbers right here and hold shift and yeah just select those copy it and then do comma and then this so um then you want to do so that's the y y number and then this uh, c number we can do so for this one we want to just do um, so we can actually just copy this again so the these ones after this this comma and do control c and then we are going to do math math dot random and then that so that's going to be in the minimum number i think or the max number we're going to see that and then let's just drag it right here uh, just like that and then do the same thing so we are going to take this and do that um, now uh, we want to do that and I uh, just um, just paste that in so we are going to just change this from C frame to pos position and if we just uh, put this into replicate storage it's going to make sure that we don't have any typos just like that and then uh, so this should be it and but what we're going to do is uh, we're going to add a little wait time so we're going to do a wait wait time is equal to and this is how long you want it to like wait um, so I'm just going to do 0 0.1 like between the spawns so what you what we're going to do here is do um, and the wait and then wait time what you could do is do that after every spawn we could increase the wait time so we can do wait time plus equals to like 0 0.01 uh, that might be a little too fast but yeah you can experiment with that yourself so if we just press play here um, then oh yeah I, I forgot to anchor this one so uh, we need to anchor this part and then you can do play here if you don't know how to get the play here just press that arrow right there um, but um, oh wait something is wrong right here okay guys so I, I found the solution so what you want to do is so this is going to be the minimum number so just uh, control X okay so I didn't really think here because this can be so it can still error uh, depending on how y uh, your part is placed so basically make sure the first number that you put in every axis uh, like oh, except Y then uh, so make sure the first numbers also the first one before the comma is lower than the than the other one because otherwise it will give give the same ember uh, error like it says here interval is empty so yeah just check that that and then paste it right here and select the things that is after your cursor and control X and then paste it before this comma uh, this is already done so we can just do that so this is the minimum number and we did wrong so I so now it should work um, so as you can see it works um, and it's going to be random but also uh, we got the spawn function working um, but now we want the pots to kill you when you touch them so what we're going to do is and and oh uh, sorry I just so what you want to do is you want to um, add a folder inside of workspace and name it kill parts then go into block handler and ch change this to um, game.workspace.killparts so once you've done that you can uh, go into replicate storage do hit the plus on the kill part and press script and now what we're going to do is do script.parent dot touched colon connect function uh, so when this part get touched we are going to co uh, connect to a function 
and then what we're going to do in that function is to kill the player so so firstly we need to check if it was a player that it hit um, so we're going to do if hits dot parent colon find first child humanoid so if we find a humanoid inside the thing that uh, hit hit uh, hit the pot then we are going to do hit dot parent colon find first child humanoid dot uh, health is equal to zero now you can change this to like uh, minus equals to 20 or something um, but I'm just going to kill it you know directly when it touches it so uh, and then you can do a uh, script dot parent colon destroy just like that um, and then you can we can test this so if we test this and then we can touch them as you can see we die and um, yeah, make sure you add a uh, like a, a spawn location in here, and then you can just yeah uh, delete the decal and make the transparency one, just like that, and turn off the can collide. So uh, yeah, now you got a functioning um, block uh, falling system, you know. So um, hope you guys enjoyed this video and. Um, if you have any problems, you can leave uh, leave some feedback in the comments and say what's wrong and maybe and I would like you guys to like say what the error says because it's pretty hard if you just say it doesn't work because then I don't know you know what what doesn't work and I don't know how to fix it. So uh, make sure you don't have any typos and yeah, uh, I'm going to see you in another video. So bye.